Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Gary Blackwood. Welcome back to the vlog. A little change of scenery today. We're here at the Commerce Casino uh, over on the east side of Los Angeles. I used to grind here all the time. Absolutely love it here. Uh, so I decided to come back for old time's sake. But yeah, let's get into some hands. We're playing 5-5 then 5-10 uh, for most of the day. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, quick backstory here. I woke up at 7 a.m. and decided, you know what? I want to play some cards. So I jumped straight into the Uber and went straight to the casino. I used to play at the Commerce all the time, and I'm delighted to report that it's not lost any of its charm. It's still as amazing as it used to be. I start the day by playing 5-5 while I wait for the 5-10 game, and every single hand is five, six, seven ways to the flop, every single hand. No hands to report from the 5-5 game, despite seeing a fair few flops before moving over to the 5-10 game. I'm in for the $1,500 max, ready to battle. There's a couple of pros in the game, a couple of fun players. And just three minutes in, I pick up pocket jacks on the button. Under the gun is raised to $35. The cutoff calls, and I put in the squeeze to $150. Under the gun is the only player to make the call. He's an American kid, looks like a pro. We go heads up to the flop, which is 4-4-3 with two hearts. A nice flop for my jacks here. Almost always got the best hand. I see that for $175, and under the gun decides to just let his hand go it's not a bad start here up a couple of hundred bucks after just a few minutes all right so the young american kid is doing a lot of talking but in a charming way not in an annoying way he then tells me that because i'm european i'm for sure not going to be good action to the enjoyment of the entire table well i didn't fly all this way to take abuse from a table full of americans and one french guy that i've played with before who is for sure no action but he's french we'll let him off with that next hand the blind 20 is on there's no straddles here at the commerce it's a blind raise instead and i'm in the cutoff with seven six suited early position is limp for twenty dollars i decide to get a little funky and overlimp here the button calls and the small blind announces 190 dollars it folds back around to me and i gotta show this whole table that i am action so i make the call as does the button we go three ways to the flop here it is queen three deuce with two clubs the small blind checks i check as well hoping for a free turn but the button absolutely bombs it for 450 dollars small blind gets out of the way and i can't call i have to either shove or fold here with my flush draw and you guys know me i'm action what the fuck else am i gonna do here i stick it all in for 1300 dollars total and there's a two second window where i actually think that he's gonna fold but of course he makes the call no running it twice here at the commerce casino we're going one time no help on the turn but the river is a club absolute scenes as the button angrily flashes a queen as he mucks and as i'm scooping in this 3300 dollars pot i look up and see every single player's jaw on the felt the dealer is even looking at me with tears in her eyes as she whispers you are action not really but that would have been pretty cool all right off to a great start here up a couple of thousand dollars and hoping to keep that going when i pick up pocket tens in the big blind under the gun is raised to 30 dollars a pro who is next to act then makes it 90 to go it folds all the way around to me and i know i should just fold this but it's 90 dollars with a pair of tens i just can't bring myself to fold so i make the call as does the under the gun player we're going three ways to the flop here it is queen 10 three with two clubs middle set on a wet board it checks to the aggressor who c bets for 200 dollars i think raising is fine here i also think calling is fine as well with the other player behind i decide to just call it keeps my range a little wider and i get to try and keep the other player in the pot as well unfortunately he does fold we go heads up to the turn which is an offsuit five i check really annoyed to see my opponent check it back to the river it's another five i've now got a full house and almost always got the best hand here now i can't stack my opponent if i just shove that's 2x pot and he's probably not going to call so the only way i can get all the chips is to check jack which is what i try and do i check and unfortunately my opponent just checks it back i think in hindsight this is a big mistake he's probably not going to bet the river after checking back the turn and we should just go ahead and bet the river ourselves got a little too greedy here but it is another pot coming my way all right off to a great start here hoping to keep it going next up i am in late position with ace queen of hearts beautiful starting hand here under the gun is raised to 35 dollars and i of course put in the re-raise to 105 dollars the big blind is a super friendly but super passive female player and she puts in the cold four bet but it's only to 210 dollars 
under the gun, makes the fold. It folds back around to me. I just can't bring myself to fold. I, of course, make the call. She's got about $700 behind, hoping to catch a pace as the flop comes down 10 7 4 with two hearts. Really good start for me here. I've got the nut flush draw and two over cards, and she just open shoves for her last $700. I, of course, have to call it off, and she turns over pocket aces. Kind of expected that, to be honest. The turn is a king. I pick up a gut shot, and the river is the six of hearts. It is another pot coming my way another flush on the river another suck out for me i'm having a great day so far here today dragging in pot after pot getting very lucky long may it continue all right getting lots and lots of great starting hands here today and this one is no different i am in the hijack with pocket kings middle position is raised to 30 dollars. i of course put in the re-raise i make it 105 to go the cutoff is going to cold call my three bet and middle position is going to fold we're going to go heads up to the flop here it is queen jack nine with two clubs this is a really really good board for the cold callers range so i decide to check it on over to him and he bets out for 75 dollars. i don't think raising is that great here out of position the board can change a lot and we can be behind very often to all the flop sets and some two pairs and straights and stuff like that so i decide to just call keep the pot small to the turn it is an offsuit seven i check and my opponent bets again this time for 230 dollars alarm bells are kind of ringing here but you can have some worse hands for value and maybe some draws so i decide to call again to the river it is the disastrous eight of clubs i check once more and my opponent bets for a third time he bets 400 dollars i was probably folding anyway i don't I don't think people are going to bet for three streets here with ace queen but definitely folding now he actually shows me king 10 offsuit what a great flop for him a disastrous flop for me but really happy that i slow played and lost the minimum Okay, next up, I am on the button with five four of clubs. Middle position is raised to $30. He's a young pro who's been kind of quiet so far. Hijack makes the call. I call on the button. The small blind calls and the big blind calls. We're going five ways to the flop here. It is ace, 10, nine, all clubs. I have flopped a flush. It checks me and I decide to bet out for $75. This is a little bigger than theory would suggest, but both of the blinds are non-pros and I want to kind of bloat the pot here with my small flush. The big blind makes a call as does the middle position razor to the turn we go it is a board pairing 10 really don't love that so when it checks to me i decide to just control the size of the pot and check it back the river is an offsuit four really happy to see that it checks to me once more and i think we've got a very clear value bet here i bet out for 240 dollars unfortunately the big blind folds it's back over to middle position who was the pre-flop razor he thinks it over for a few seconds and then moves all in for 1545 dollars i really wasn't expecting that river check raises are usually usually nutted in live poker but i think about it for a little while and i decide that i don't think this player is going to check on the river with a full house because he wants to get value from the big blind and i'm really high up in my range i don't check back any full houses on the turn so flushes are the best hands that i have and a baby flush might actually be better because if i've got a hand like king jack of clubs then i'm gonna block some like pocket kings with a club that my opponent can bluff with maybe a hand like ace king with a king of clubs so i decide this makes for one of my best calls i decide to sigh and make the call and he shows me ace nine of hearts for a three pair check raise bluff it's a really really cool bluff from him blocking all the full houses but really 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 happy that I find the rare river check raise all in bluff and not the 99% of the time that it's normally a value hand. Another stack is coming my way here. I've played for just under two hours and I am up a very, very cool $4,200 so far today. All right, taking a little break there to stretch my legs and grab some scrambled eggs, but I'm back to the grind here with king nine of clubs under the gun. I raise it on up to $30 and I get four callers from middle position, hijack, button, and big blind. We're going five ways to the flop here and it is ace nine four with two clubs. I've got second pair and the nut flush draw. Lots of equity here and I want to win a big pot if I hit one of my many, many outs. So I decide to bet out for $60. Middle position is going to make the call as is the hijack. We're going to the turn here, which does not help me it is an offset jack very very ambitious to bet again here so i decide to check it checks right into the hijack and she is going to take a stab here for 275 dollars only i make the call the river is a five and when i check she checks back she's got ace queen all suit first real pot of the day that i've lost so far today so it's no big deal but a little surprise given how well i've been running that i didn't hit one of my many many outs 
All right, since taking that break, I've lost a bunch of small pots as well as that King Nine from a few minutes ago. Hoping to turn it around here with A6 of Hearts in the cutoff. Under the gun is limped for $10. I am deep in conversation with the two guys next to me and not really focused. I should just be isolating here, but I decided to over limp. It's not terrible, but I do prefer isolating in this spot. No harm done though, as the button is gonna do the raising for me. He makes it $45 to go. Under the gun calls and I of course make the call as well. We go three ways to the flop. It is ace, eight, deuce with two spades and one heart. Under the gun now leads out here for $120. I've got top pair, backdoor flush draw. I of course make the call. The first razor, grumbles a little bit and shows his cards to the small blind he's clearly got a hand like queens or jacks or kings or something and then he makes the fold to the turn it is the queen of hearts i've now got top pair and a nut flush draw and what's more under the gun is betting again for three hundred dollars he is limp called pre led out on the flop and is now bombing it on the turn alarm bells are ringing but i of course have to make the call to the river it is a complete brick nothing changes and he moves all in but it's only 175 dollars i don't think i'm good here very often Often at all but i of course can't fold the price is too good just in case he's got a random bluff i make the call and he's got ace king he's limp called prey donk the flop donk the turn shove the river of course he's got ace king completely milked me there on every street but i don't think i can get away on the river for such a small price all right, no luck in the last hour or so, bleeding plenty back from my peak, but hoping that'll turn around here when I look down at pocket queens in early position. Under the gun is limped for 10 and I raise it on up to $50. The button makes the call, as does the big blind, but then the limper folds. We're going three ways to the flop here. It is eight, five, three, rainbow. Pretty safe looking flop for me here. And I decide to see bet for $100. The big blind makes the call. He's a French guy that I played a bunch with in the past, but haven't seen him in a couple of years. Heads up to the turn here, it is a board pairing eight i don't love that so when it checks to me i decide to just slow play a little bit and check it on back the river is an ace bit of a disastrous run out for me here and when he checks to me i decide not to go for thin value i just check it back and he says i got it i got it and he turns over pocket fives very happy he didn't fast play his set on the flop there because i might well have just gone with it to be honest all right, losing every hand I play now, polar opposite from the start of the session, but still having a nice day. And ironically, I think I'm playing a little better than I was at the start of the day when I was running really well. I'm under the gun plus one here with queen nine of spades. Under the gun has limped again. I have made it $50 to go again. And this time I'm going to get four callers. We're going five ways to the flop here. They bloody love seeing a flop at the Commerce Casino. And this one is 10 for deuce rainbow. Not a whole lot going on here, but I have got a backdoor straight draw and a backdoor flush draw and an overcard to the board. So I decide to ambitiously see bet five ways. I bet $130. I'm going to keep barreling if I get called and pick up some equity. I do get one caller from a pro on the button and what do you know i pick up equity on the turn very nice combo draw for me here so i decide to keep betting i bet 325 dollars a very big bet setting up for a river jam if i get there and let's be honest if i miss as well she's thinking it over and after 45 seconds she says that i must have it and folds a 10 face up i was not expecting that one bit and i of course can't resist turning over my bluff she takes it really well and for the first time in about 90 minutes i am finally dragging in a pot all right, next up for the third time in a row, under the gun is limped and I have isolated to $50, this time with king 10 offsuit and somehow, some way we don't get seven callers in between. It folds back round to the limper and he makes the call. He's proven himself to be a very, very fun player over the last couple of hours, so I'm delighted to see the flop come down king queen six with two hearts. I see bet here with my top pair for $60 and he makes a call to the turn is the deuce of clubs two flush draws on board now and i decide to keep firing i bet 220 dollars and once again he makes the call to the river it's the three of clubs some straight draws get there and the backdoor flush draw gets there as well of course i was hoping for a clean river so i could go for thin value but i decide to just check back this one and he turns over king eight of hearts he had a lot of outs there but i'm relieved to hold and scoop in another pot heading back in the right direction for the day now all right, so I've been here for about six or seven hours now, thinking about tapping the table soon, but not before I'm under the gun plus one with King Jack offsuit. The very, very fun, fun player has opened under the gun to $50. I would never, ever consider calling this hand normally, but given the funness of this player, I think it's pretty mandatory to put money in the pot here, but I also don't want to three bet because we're only 1500 effective. So I go ahead and make the call, as does middle position, as does the cutoff. We go four ways to the flop here, which is King 10 deuce with two diamonds. It checks to me and I want to bet my top pair here, start building a pot versus this fun player. 
So I bet out for $125. Happy to see it fold round to the original razor, who then check raises me to $250. The dreaded check min raise. I don't love this spot all of a sudden, but of course not folding just yet. I make the call. To the turn, it's a flush completing six. He checks to me quite quickly, and I take a few seconds before checking back. The river is another deuce, and he checks again. I think for a few seconds, but decide this is just a little too thin given the action. King, queen, probably the worst hand I'm going to bet here. I check it back, and he turns over. Ace, king, off suit. A very, very bad beat here versus this guy that he actually has a big hand. But after this hand, I decide that I am finito for the day. So happy to be back here at the Commerce Casino, just like old times. A nice trip down memory lane for me here. I rack up my chips and head to the cashier, booking a win for the day, but a little upstuck in the process. All right, Trips, that is going to do it for another session. I was up about 4,200 after two hours. Uh, loving life. Took a break, uh, went back to the table and couldn't win a hand and finished up about 1,900. Being upstuck is the worst feeling because if I had won 1,900 by just going like this, uh, I'd be loving it. But I went like this and then like this a little bit. So now, naturally, I'm, I'm on life tilt. <laughs> Just kidding, but not really. Uh, yeah, that'll do it for this session. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the show, please do consider clicking that sub button, all that jazz. Until next time, guys and girls, take it easy.